morning everyone seems like every storm we get this time of year that snow line gets lower and lower on the mountains I'm sure it's kind of hard to see right now but the snow line is about right where the, the clouds are you can see it right above the, the tree line back there we're getting a rainy sleep mixture this morning here at the house I think throughout the day it's supposed to kind of start clearing out and not turn into too bad of a day temperatures in about the mid 40s or so but then I think here in a couple days temperatures drop quite a bit at night getting down close to 10 15 degrees so starting to get a little bit chilly at nights not warming up quite as much during the days and you can tell winter's about here we ended up getting our concrete floor poured here for a garage we did this on Friday so about two three days ago and on Saturday we got blankets put on it just to try to protect it from freezing so today got a few things going on it's kind of been the, the norm for this time of year we got a few more cows come home yesterday while I was at work and they actually came right in here to the, the ranch yard and my dad came over and stuck them in the Quonset for now and they're just in there with the bulls so I'm gonna go over there this morning and cut them out and haul them down to Randall's and like always it seems like I got a little bit more fencing to do we're gonna try to hook up the, the chisel plow to that case tractor you're ready to start plowing some ground down there at Randall's now that we've gotten some moisture and the cows have grazed off all that four-way hopefully this moisture we've gotten will soften up the ground and make it a little bit more tillable So there is one Hereford cow in here that has one horn that we're gonna leave in here with the bull. She's just kind of an escape artist and likes to run through her electric fences and get out. So we're gonna leave her in here and then we don't have to worry about her. You can see here how buddy buddy the bulls are now after all their fighting the other day. I just need to grab this black cow. We'll take this bunch right here and try to leave the bulls behind. Oh, kills. Come on, cows. Come on. Come on. Come on, Charlie. Come on. Come on. Well, that worked out perfect. The old Orson can stay here, and I'll just cut back that Hereford cow, and we'll have her load. Look, this calf cut off too, because that's that's his mom, that Hereford cow. So we'll leave him behind too. Come on, cows. 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, up, 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 back cow. Stay. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, ma. Come on. So we'll just kick him back with his mom and head down to Randall's. Keefy. They sure don't like being alone. You get them separated and all on their own, they get a little wild and run around quite a bit.
kills. Well, that job's done, so we'll move on to the next one. Come on, cows. Come on, cows. Find that gate. Oh, I'm going to walk right past it. Come on, cows. Yep, 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 yep. Come on. Come on! I just ran down here to Randall's to finish fixing some fence I was working on the other day. We had some cows of our neighbors over in the pasture here. I'm not exactly sure how they got in here. At least the cows. Then calves, you know, they'll just crawl through a fence as they want to. So I just opened up this gate here and ran them through. So I'm just gonna fix the fence behind them and hopefully that keeps them out of here at least. So we're down here on the river bottoms and there's not really much of a fence over here along the river. So these cows are the neighbors. If they cross the river, they'll hit this fence line here that you know fences in this pasture in the field that we hayed earlier this summer. So that's where they came from. They crossed over from the river. Now they're over in this pasture here. I think next year if we rent this place again, we'll probably try to put up an electric fence or something there along the river just to try to keep all the neighbor's cows off of this little pasture piece here. Well, I got my fencing done down here at Randall's and I don't really record any of it just because I've been recording a lot of fencing lately and if you, you know, if you've seen it once, you've kind of seen all of it. But while I'm down here, I'm going to go check on these cows, check on their salt and see how that pasture is doing that we just let them into last week and just see what the grass looks like. See most of these cows are out here in this spring pasture. There's still a few over here in the hay fields, but for the most part, they're all over in here. Just right here where I'm at, you know, there's still a decent amount of green grass under here. So they're picking away at it. So I was just out here running over our fence on the Idaho side. Look like there's some cows out here by this wheel line that came down off the forest. So I'm gonna run over there and see, see whose they are. And there's some of ours, we'll bring them in here. I got this gate open. So hopefully they'll come right in here if they're ours. My cow here looks like it's probably the neighbor's cows over there against the wheel line. We'll probably just bring in the whole bunch just because it's hard to bring in one cow at a time, so we'll probably just bring in the whole bunch. So, right here, these are my neighbor's cows. That's my calf, neighbor's calf. Like I said, that one over there is my cow. So, let's just try to push them right down this wheel line into that, that gate that I have opened up. You have to listen to the dogs whine a bunch because they're pretty anxious to get out and run. I don't know if you can see, but right, right over there is the gate that we're trying to push them through. Come on, cows. See the gate. See the gate. Come on. Yep, 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 yep. Fuckers. Oh, 
That's what's outside. What is that? That snow? Yeah, I did Yeah, they woke up to some snow this morning. It's almost here. Yeah, use the other side. Use the brush. Oh. Use yep. Use that side. Clean it off. Say not much snow, but there's a little bit. So I just ran down here to Randall's to check on the cows and bring them another mineral tub. Ever since they ate up all that alfalfa in the hay fields, they've sure been going through these mineral tubs quite a bit faster. So these are 24% mineral tubs and you know when they're eating all that alfalfa, which has you know a decent amount of protein and also they weren't really eating these mineral tubs, but ever since they got into this older, you know, dry grass pasture here, they sure have been blowing through those mineral tubs. So we just try to keep them in front of them. Make sure they're getting plenty of protein and minerals and all that. Now, yeah, and then I moved a couple of them salt blocks from that other pasture that they were at earlier. Just moved the, the half block there. Then I threw out another block out here last night just so I had plenty of salt down here too. So we're actually trying to get down to Utah today to spend Halloween with Lindsay's family and uh, spend the weekend down there. So this is gonna be a shorter video than, than normal, but I got a few things today I'm trying to finish up before we leave. Taking care of these cows is one of them. And, then I never got around to hooking up that chisel plow yesterday on the case, so maybe I can get around to doing that and just a few other odds and ends before we can take out of here. So I'll stop and show you some of the green that's still in here though. Especially in this little section here, you, you brush past some of this old dead grass and there's a decent amount of green grass down there and it's still, oh I'd say six, seven inches tall. So I there should be plenty of feed in here, at least until we get back. So one thing we like doing in the winter is throwing some blocks under these big baler's tires. Just here under that axle. And sometimes these tires lose air through the winter. So one thing we want to make sure that if this goes flat, all the weight of the baler doesn't sit on the tire, like a flat tire, and it creates a, um, oh, you got like a, a fold in the tire, and that will eventually crack. So we just stick some blocks under here. So in case they do start to go flat, all the weight of the baler will set on the blocks and not the flat tire. Chisel plow's been sitting here for a little while and it's got a flat tire, so I just brought a handyman jack and I try to lift up this one side so I can get in here and get backed up to it.
Oh, we got her hooked up. So we put some air in them tires and probably just adjust things to make sure it's riding about where it should be. But I'm gonna end this one here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Have a good day.